In this demonstration, we're going to go over a loan a data review lifecycle. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the business requirements. Loan Verifier X receives 5,000 loans a day, which they have to review. All data is contained within the loan content itself needs to be validated against a data tape. Uh, this is currently performed manually and an automated process needs to be established to increase efficiency so they can review and approve and verify 100% of the loans, not just 5 to 10% as they do today. So the lifecycle process, loans are imported via a file share, secure FTP or direct integration with the loan origination system. The lifecycle will periodically import these loans as they come in and we'll use business rules to identify the different types of documents, which is important in this scenario because not every loan document type contains the data we need. Um, the user can then verify the classification and then target the specific document types and the data will only be extracted from those document types and verified. Okay, I'm going to log in as Andrew Williams. Um, he's going to stay with me for the whole demo today and um, he works in the loan verification department. Um, if you're I'm going to log in as a Docunet user this time, it is integrated with Active Directory if you're using an on-prem system. Uh, or if it's uh, in the cloud, then you can use um, a, a username or password. So I'm going to, to log in here. And Andrew is immediately presented with different loan verification uh, uh, projects that uh, are being worked on here. Um, here's just, just a, a dashboard giving the different statuses, where they are in the process, and so forth. And I can select different projects to, to see where we are. Um, Andrew is going to work... Um, in the work center here. Now we, we have a number of batches that are coming through and this is really um, from the, the different areas, whether it be from a file share, secure FTP or direct integration with a loan origination system. There's a number of ways to, to get documents into, um, into Docunnect. Now there are different states here. So I've got some batches that are, are partially classified, some are ready for classification, partially indexed. The partially status indicates that um, I, I, Andrew has started working on these batches, but hasn't completed them. And that, that, that's an important distinction. Docunnect does not let you go past the stage that you're on. If you um, work, have a batch of 10 documents and work on eight, um, get called away, uh, the system times out, then it's going to remember where you are and force you to review the other two when you reprocess the batch. It won't skip the stage and go to the next, uh, the next stage of the process. So as you remember from our intro, um, it's going to use the content of the document to identify using business rules what types of documents are in the loan package. So if I go and process one of the, one of the batches, you'll see that I've got uh, an appraisal report, a credit memo, loan agreement, mortgage. It's automatically processed uh, this and split the documents accordingly. Um, I can actually, um, these are not accepted at the moment. Um, I can accept these and then everything looks good and I can go on uh, with my process or I can split documents, join them together, add pages to existing documents. There's all sorts of options that you can do within the classification process. But I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to finish this batch because it looks great. The rules engine has done a great job of identifying the, the different document types. Again, it's important because only the, the credit memo in our example, uh, our demonstration today, contains the data that is needed. Once the documents have been classified, they automatically go into the data extraction phase. Um, as uh, obviously only the credit memo um, needs to have the data extracted in this particular life cycle. Uh, the rest will, will be ignored, which makes things a little bit more, more efficient. Um, here's one that's partially indexed. I'm going to click into this one to look at the contents of the batch. And in this life cycle, the contents of the batch is really one loan file. Um, you'll see that the, um, the second document in the loan, the credit memo, has these blue information bubbles. And you'll know from previous demos that that is, um, denotes that the business rules have been automatically applied. There is a red triangle there denoting that um, something's gone wrong with this process and we need to check into that. Uh, we'll look at that in just a moment. But 
the sum of the data is automatically applied to the other documents in the loan. So the loan number is not in the appraisal, but it's been assigned to the appraisal because the system has been told that one batch is essentially one loan packet. Now, if I go into the indexing, um, it's going to jump to the, the document that, that has um, the issue. Um, again, a useful feature. You can doc uh, configure Docunnect two ways. You can force the, the indexing or verification stage, so you're forcing users to verify everything. Um, that, that may be useful for the beginning stages of a process, but people normally switch that off. Um, and the only where documents fall below a certain threshold are they presented to users for review. This one is 60%, is as you can see that. Uh, I happen to know that the life cycle threshold is 80%, hence the red triangle. That's got in the batch um, work, in the work center for review. When I click on index, it's going to say, do you want me to skip the document spin index and just look at the ones you need to? And there it is. It jumps straight to that document. Um, if I click on the red one, it seems to have extracted the information correctly. Um, and that just denotes the, the power of the, the business rules. It's not just um, extracting the data and putting it into the, the field. It's uh, the business rules can have a business context to them as well. In this particular scenario, it's not only extracted the information, but the, the confidence is associated with the fact that the value is invalid as the LTV should be greater than 65. So you can add this sort of business context to the data to make a very powerful rules engine now, the end, end goal of this particular life cycle is to provide to the loan originator with a report of any diligence items found, any discrepancies found between the data tape and the loan or any of the business rules that, that failed. Um, so once they've been um, uh, classified, they've been indexed, then the um, they go into a report table and then provide it back to the originator. So this is the uh, deficiency history table. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, different loans in here with different issues found. This one had a lot of problems with the data tape. This is the loan that we had, um, that we reviewed earlier during indexing. You'll notice there's a link here. Uh, Docunet can actually hyperlink into specific um, fields within the document and link it to where the data was extracted. So if I click on the review information link in the table, you can see it goes straight to that loan that uh, we, we, we found. Don't forget to check out our website where we have a lot of useful information. There's other videos on our YouTube channel, um, our blog articles, and there's also our knowledge center that contains um, some information, also our user manuals and admin guides as well. Thanks for listening.